Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about why OPM is so stinking slow in paying you your pension when you retire. As you all know, the day you walk out of your career you're as a federal employee, your pension does not start right away. There is a lag. And the reason because of that is that there's a lot of things, but the core is OPM, the government agency responsible to paying these things out, in general is backlogged and slow. Okay, now they're getting better over time, which is good. We're moving in the right direction. But there's a number of issues that come up on OPM side and potentially mistakes you you make, right, as a federal employee that slow OPM down. So we're going to go dive into today what you can do to help speed this process up so you can get your pension, your retirement, ASAP in your retirement. So if you're new here, though, welcome. So good to have you. My name is Dallin Haas. I'm a financial planner who serves federal employees just like you so you guys can retire confident, get the most out of your money, and avoid stupid mistakes like we're going to talk about today. Okay. Long story short, the main reason that OPM is so slow and it takes a while, it can take months before you get even your first pension check in retirement. The main reason is OPM is simply slow. Okay. They operate in very, very old fashioned ways. A lot of things are done on paper still, not electronic. Now, again, they're getting better. I'm sure they're trying to update things. They get a lot of heck about from all different types of people about being slow. They're getting better over time. But it, you guys know, you guys work for the federal government. To t make change and improve, it just takes a long time. They're slow. It's just how it is. The only thing, though, that you can control as a federal employee is these some of the things that some of these problems that we're going to talk about so that you can at least shrink down the time that you have to wait as best you can. So here are a couple problems that slow OPM down even more. Now, again, OPM slow in general, but if you do certain things, it'll slow them down way more for your specific application. Number one, there's two different types of problems that come up. Number one, agency mistakes. So this, again, is not even mistakes you make necessarily, but your agency makes when they process your application. So let me give you just a rough idea of how this all works. When you want to retire, you reach out to your HR at your own agency and you say, hey, I want to retire. They send you the retirement application, all the documents they need. They send it to you. You, you fill it out. You get everything to them that they need. They get all the documents they need. And then at your retirement date, they send that whole packet off to OPM. Okay. So there's a lot of work that your HR does to get your packet together all right and correct. And they send it off. However, again, as we all know, people make mistakes. And if your agency makes mistakes on how they package things together, what documents they include and don't include, and they ship stuff off to OPM that isn't right or has mistakes or they didn't include everything, it's going to slow your application down. Now, again, there's nothing you can do about that necessarily other than making sure you've given your agency everything they need in a timely fashion. They've got plenty of time between when you get them at and your retirement so that they are not rushed and they do a good job. Now, here's the place that you want to focus your time now. There's a lot of mistakes that you can make as a federal employee that slows things down the most, okay? And that is your mistake. So when you fill out the application, there are a, a number of things on the application that people get wrong all the time. First and foremost, do you have all the documents the application is requesting? If you had military time, if you bought it back, did you include those documents and those, those receipts for paying that back? Do, do you have things like your wedding certificate? There's a bunch of things that that application actually requires and given your circumstances that you want to make sure you include. Read the application very, very thoroughly. We help clients with that all the time. So we've seen all these mistakes come through and we want to make sure you don't have any of these mistakes. So first, do, are you including all the documents that are relevant to your situation? that apply to your career. Every career is different. All the documents that you need to verify the career are going to be a little different. Okay. Also, is the entire application filled out, right? Is it all filled out? Did you leave any blanks that were supposed to be filled out? Did you do it exactly how you're supposed to read the instructions? Exactly. Be very slow and precise about this. This is not the sort of thing that you want to rush through to get your application done. You want to go slow, make sure it is all correct. So again, don't typo anything, right? Make sure everything's filled out. Have all your documents in there. And that are those are really the big things that you can control when it comes to your career 
um, and turning in your application to OPM to speed this up as best as possible. Now, there's one more thing actually that you can do and I recommend it highly. It is when you retire, cash is king. And what that means is you gotta have cash. You gotta have savings on the side, an emergency fund, something to get you through, to help you survive between the time you retire and by the time your pension first starts, which again, it can take months. It can take months for that to happen. So you wanna make sure you're prepared so that you, even if OPM is slow to process your application, you're gonna be okay, okay? That's the most important thing, is that you do your best with what you have control over, because there's a lot here we can't control, and that's just the government. We can't control everything, just do the best you can, and things will work out for you. I help clients retire all the time, and as long as we have a good plan, then everything works out great, okay? So I hope that's helpful. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.